All right, guys, so we're about to head out on this um, little journey. We're going about 400 yards south of here, uh, and then we're gonna, we're gonna kinda just continue down that way. Uh, there should be a lot of snook and tarpon out there. I was looking at some reports uh, last night, um, and the weather is a little iffy right now, but it should clear up, and hopefully we get a good video today. So uh, stay tuned if you guys wanna see some snook and tarpon. All right, guys, so we're paddling to the first spot of the day. Um, we got a really late start. Try to be as quiet as possible. And we're gonna go ahead and hit this side. It's kind of this little lagoon, and then we'll go ahead and make our way over there where we've had some bigger bites. But just to get the day started, we're gonna go ahead and hit this little spot. Of course. So right now the morning actually kind of been started a little bit slow. Uh, we've been tossing at mangroves for quite a moment now. And you see little stuff popping in the mangroves like over there. And right now I'm throwing this mirror wheel. I'm throwing the, oh, you saw that? I think something just popped right back there. Typically, I like to stay off the treble hooks and go for something like circle hooks. flipping at these mangroves and staying as quiet as possible. I don't want to disturb them in any way. Uh, the camera's getting wet. Check that out guys. That's what we're here for. So this is like a little lagoon right outside of where we like to fish. Tons of these guys. Tons and tons of them. Something like I've never seen before. Nice, nice little micro poon. These are such fun fights. Nothing like coming out here and ripping a few of these guys. Let's go ahead and put them in the water. All right, guys. So that's that's fish number one of the day. Probably gonna stick to the mirror lure. I might go back around this area and keep on hitting along these little mangrove lines. And it's really calm, so there's a lot of a lot of baits going into the into the into the mangrove systems and kind of finding shelter and basically staying away from those big predators like the tarpon and the snook that come out here and try to see if they can get an easy meal. So we'll keep on throwing that mirror lure and see what you get. We got some technical difficulties. But we're actually on a nice snook here. Look at that nice snook. He is just absolutely enormous. Not enormous, but he's a lot nicer than what we've been seeing all day today. So guys, pretty much what we're doing is just throwing this mirror lure 
looking around for snook that would have liked to eat. But I'd say that's a nice slot snook. Very, very good looking fish. Very healthy too. Wherever those little ones are, these big ones tend to be around uh, either protecting them or honestly sometimes even eating them. Let's go ahead and, and release this guy. And we actually have a hurricane coming in. And a lot of times, right before hurricane, it's just really dead heat. Absolute beautiful snook. Absolutely gorgeous. And you see here, all right, they're just popping all around. All right, ooh, nasty lightning. All right guys, so the weather's getting really Weather's getting really nasty. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up real quick. Uh, if you guys liked the video, oh, by the way, I was using a mirror lure in um, pretty much the whole entire video. The mirror lure was just proving to be really good um, for what we we're doing today. So if you're out here in uh, Southern Florida and you're trying to catch some tarpon, snook, uh, try the mirror lure on a really calm day um, and you might get some action. Uh, if you guys want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and uh, like the video, subscribe, really helps out. Um, and hopefully we can uh, keep providing quality content for you guys. So stay tuned and thanks.